Hey, you're watching PJ Clicks. In this video, we're gonna dig through some vintage Lego pieces. All right, so welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna dig through this uh, bin of vintage Lego pieces that I picked up from a, from a garage sale recently. You should see the pickup video there. Yeah, so I, as I explained in the pickup video, I saw this sitting on a table for $15. I ended up getting it for, I think, $12. And sitting on top was this instruction manual right here. This is for set 6929. And underneath it was this piece of cardboard right here for set 135. So I presume that these two sets are in here, at least to some degree of completeness. Again, I don't know how complete these are when I get them. I hope that they're complete. I hope that this set is really complete because I'm, I really am interested in this set a lot. So just a little bit of information. This is, like I said, set 6929. This is from, uh, let's see, this is set 6929 Starfleet Voyager. This is a, one of the classic space sets. This was released in the year 1981. It was originally a 242 part set, 242 piece set, and included one minifig who is in here. So that's exciting. This right here is the top part of the box, the front of the box, to set 135 building set is the name that I have here from Bricklink. It was originally a 338 piece set and was released in the year 1973. So both of these are vintage Lego pieces, or excuse me, both of these are vintage Lego sets. So yeah, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to dig through the, these and see how much of these two sets that I can piece out. I'll probably start with the space set because if there are any, if there are any duplicates or doubles and some of the pieces are missing, I would rather have this set complete than the other set. So I'll probably finish this set first, and then we'll see uh, how the other set goes, set 135. So I will start digging through this, and yeah, we'll see what we get. Just wanted to give you a quick update. So I started piecing out the, the oh gosh, I forgot the name, the 6929, the classic space set. And here are all the pieces for it. Um, there were two pieces that I could not find. They might still be in here, and I'm just not seeing them. One is a two by two gray, light gray piece, and then a one by two um, white plate. So two by two gray plate and a one by two white plate. Other than that, everything is there. But I wanted to show you something that was really exciting. I knew that there was one minifig in here, but what I didn't know is that there were four all complete and yeah I don't know what those go to because this set only has one space minifig there's also a little extra tank there and I don't know why that's there there's no other there are no other um, space minifigs in here or minifigs at all but there are a whole bunch of other space sets uh, space pieces I should say that were in here. There's some more still in here too. I think I pulled most of them out at this point, but yeah, there's still some. I think this set mostly has bricks in them. So the bricks I believe are mostly for for here. And then a lot of the other more specialized places pieces go to some other space sets. So yeah, really, really excited. I don't know what's in here though. So I think I'm gonna build 6929 Starfleet Voyager or something like that. Um, and we'll take a look at it and then, uh, yeah, we'll figure out what other space sets we have in here. All right, so here is the finished product. And I just have to say, it looks really, really cool. I love it. It's so awesome. So the two parts that I was missing weren't super essential. Oh, one was right here and it's just sort of cosmetic. The other is on the bottom and actually this piece that just fell off it goes under, it's that 2x2 two two gray plate, it goes underneath this to give it one more layer so that it will actually touch the ground as, as it stands now. That strut doesn't actually touch. But yeah, cool, cool little build here. Um, 
So the cockpit opens up here, and we've got our spaceman sitting, chilling in there. Uh, there's some action here. I don't know what exactly that does, but it's kind of cool. Oh, there goes the landing strut. Oh, so you can definitely tell that this is an older set because a lot of these pieces have lost their clutch power. And actually, um, there were a couple pieces that cracked while I was trying to put them together, which is too bad. But, you know, that's what you get when you work with pieces that are, oh, geez, 35, 30, 37 years old, I guess. Um, yeah, cool little play feature here, though. Pop off this little tile here at the end. Slide that open, and then right there reveal is <laughs> pops out this uh, this little cargo container, and inside are the tools that go to this set. So plus some, like a couple of these extra pieces. There was one piece in here that I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with, and that's this piece right here. I don't know if you can see that. Like this one by two plate with these little handles on the side, and uh, I could not figure out where this piece goes. I looked through the instructions several times and couldn't find it, so I'm not sure. So it's just going in the cargo hold. It was definitely in the parts list for this set on Bricklink, but maybe that's, maybe that's a mistake. So yeah, so then when you want to load the cargo back up, you just bring it over like this, close it up and it takes it with it. So. so there is the Starfleet Voyager set 6929, mostly complete. I, I'm i sure that I have a gray 2x2 plate and a 1x2 plate in, in my collection from growing up that I can um, pillage a little bit from and, and, and grab those pieces that are necessary. This is a really cool set. I'm excited to have this in my collection. This will be fun to just display. I don't know if I'll if this will be one that my son and I will play with a whole lot per se, just because of how fragile it is and how brittle the pieces are. I don't necessarily want to build this one up over and over again, um, but it is really really cool. All right, so I'm calling it quits for tonight uh, for for this video, but I will come back and we'll figure out what the rest of these pieces belong to, and we still have to go through set 135 and see if that set is complete as well. So I'll give you an update when, when we complete that. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please go ahead and hit the like button, comment in the comment section down below, and please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content and want to see more. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.